Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're down here in Texas this week. I actually had some emergency stuff come up with family. I'm down back at my parents. And we are gonna do a really cool recipe tonight with this red snapper my brother caught out in the Gulf. It's a whole snapper, the head's just off, it's been cleaned. The scales are still on it though, so I'm gonna show you real quick how to take the scales off, and then we're gonna take this fish in the house and do something really, really cool with it. Okay guys, we are back in the house with our red snapper. It's completely scaled and we are ready to start getting it ready to steam. We're gonna steam it in tin foil in the oven. So we have it on a large pan where the large fish will fit. You can also steam in one of those little bamboo things. We don't have one of those and this fish would be too big anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a sharp knife. We're just gonna make some, some slits into our fish. Just like that. Do it sideways, just like that. We'll score the fish a little bit so some of our seasonings we're going to put on this fish to steam it get down into those slits. Flip it over, do the same thing to the other side. Red snapper is a super, super versatile fish. You can do almost anything with it. One of this size is perfect for this recipe. The light's on. Where is so we've scored our fish, we've scaled it. Now it's ready to start seasoning up to steam. We're just gonna put a little salt on it. And sprinkle a little soy sauce. A little sesame oil. This stuff's very strong. You want to take it easy with it, but it's very delicious on fish. Then I got this sake. It's a coconut lemongrass sake. I think that's going to be a really good addition to a fish. Gonna pour a little bit of that on there. And this is gonna give this fish some juice to steam in besides its own juices and create some delicious flavor. We also like a little spice in our family, so we're gonna add a little bit of this chili garlic sauce. And just mix all that in there. And then flip this fish over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so this fish is all seasoned and ready to go. We have our oven preheated at 450. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this fish up with some tin foil and kind of create a loose covering that's sealed all the way around so this fish will steam inside the tin foil. We just wanna seal in all those yummy juices that's going to cook in. And ideally, you want to cook this fish about 10 minutes for every inch of thickness of the fish. This fish is about 2 inches thick. We're going to put it in and set the timer for right about 20 minutes.
Okay guys, the fish has been in the oven about 20, 25 minutes. I'll let it go a little longer just to make sure it's completely done. We're gonna pull it out. Bring it over to a surface that it's okay to set something hot on. Very carefully, we're going to open up this pouch of our fish. There you have it. Perfectly steamed in its own juices. Okay, so now I'm going to take this fish out of this dish. I'm going to transfer it into this dish. We're going to take the juices and pour it over the top of it. And we'll be right back to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, guys, we got our fish in our dish. We're going to bring it over here to the table. We've got green onion. Slice thinly. We're just going to top it with green onion some fresh ginger, sliced real thin, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the stove and we're going to heat up some peanut oil, just a little bit, we're going to let that peanut oil get almost to a boil. All right guys, so what we did is we heated up some peanut oil on the stove. This is super hot, it's dangerous. You wanna be careful doing it. We're gonna bring it over here to our fish. Okay guys, this is it. This is our hot peanut oil fish. It's steamed perfectly, and then we top it with that hot peanut oil to kind of crispy up and wilt the vegetables on top and get that seasoning really good. We're gonna serve it with a little bit of wild rice. It should be absolutely delicious. Just like any whole fish, you wanna watch out for some bones, but look at that absolutely perfect all right guys we're gonna sit down and have some delicious dinner as a family I hope you enjoyed this recipe if you have any questions I'll have the recipe all linked below we really appreciate you watching the videos we have some really great adventures coming up we're taking our boat to Florida in a couple weeks stay tuned for that don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in that next one. Thanks for watching.